Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode, I wanted to do a real quick video for you showing you a very important thing that you need to pay attention to when you're fishing creeks, no matter the time of year, but definitely during the fall. You know, we're out here, uh, you know, kind of what is it the 23rd of october water temp is 66.5 degrees here in this creek lots of shad around here so you know that is kind of the main thing during the fall is that shad migration into the backs of the creeks but finding the exact you know uh, spot in a creek where the fish are likely to be is the most difficult part so what i want to show you here is two sides of this creek I, I chose this creek for a lot of different reasons and we got some deer in the woods there that's pretty awesome i could hear them uh, but so what we've got here is we've got this side of the creek you can see here got some riprap um, and the shoreline really is very short you know there's not a whole lot of shoreline visible because the the contours are dropping faster and you can see we're in like three and a half, four foot of water on the Lowranch HDS Pro. And, uh, and so, you know, that's relatively deep for this little creek arm. So you can tell the contours are definitely, uh, you know, uh, a lot steeper on this side versus this side. Okay. It's hard to see on the, the GoPro here. Um, but essentially you've got you can see a lot more shoreline it's a lot more gradual sloping so it's a lot flatter it's not dropping off very fast okay that is a huge huge key this time of year during the fall because a lot of times these steeper banks what i call these channel swing banks or sometimes i even refer to them as transition banks because these are the banks that a lot of the fish will hold on including the shad as they transition into the backs of these creeks um, so i'm not saying that every single time the fish are going to be on this the steeper side but a lot of times this is a sanctuary this little bit of a creek channel that comes in probably you know snakes around and then kind of comes in towards this shoreline versus the flatter shoreline and then snakes its way into the back these key little channel swing banks can be so so important and they're easy to find on your mapping whether you're using sea map navionics uh, lake master whatever you're using you know they're very very easy to find and locate and uh, you know so it's it, it's just one of those things you have to look for if you're fishing creeks now if you're out you know uh, fishing the live sonar you know with a minnow out on flat somewhere not as important but if you're doing um, you know something that is targeting those fish that are or following the shad in the backs of the creeks these transition banks are super super important and if you can find some cover i don't know if you can see here but there's a brush pile right here uh you know it's actually probably just a a bunch of of wood um not necessarily brush but it's a you know wood pile you find something like that or like a lay down or even a dock on this type of bank it just makes it even better but the key thing is having that channel swing bank that is an awesome awesome uh quality in a creek um some things that you know on this bank that i would really suggest throwing is a shallow diving crankbait like a square bill crankbait uh, a buzz bait i was just throwing a whopper plopper um, you can throw a chatter bait back here you know really a shad imitation baits and then once it gets really cold during the winter time the fish will still be on these these channel swing banks as they move out to the the main lake um, it, but you might want to move a little bit slower, maybe a jig or something like that. So anyways, guys, just wanted to do this real quick video. I think it's super important to pay attention to the contours. And guess what? You don't even need electronics to figure this out. You just have to look around and see how a creek sets up, how it lays up. 
So anyways, guys, take that for what it's worth. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys are looking for any of the products that I would throw on a bank like this for this time of year, I'm going to put them in the description below with some links. Um, other than that, I, I, I also want to give a shout out to uh, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. We're, of course, doing our fundraiser for the Dick Highly Bass Classic, which really isn't for the Dick Highly Bass Classic. It's for St. Jude. So I've got a link in the description below. Please help me raise as much money as possible. I don't care what you donate. You know, if you have, you know, a dollar, that will go directly to a family in need, a child that has a life-threatening disease. So um, go click on that link in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on the water. Trust the process.